everyone today is monday the 8th of april um lindsay has just left for a work trip he left he left home about i don't know a couple of hours ago he's flying out at 7 a.m for a three-day work trip um so it's just jed and i for a few days and i thought i would do a little bit of vlogging over the next few days not sort of all day every day but just i'll check in every now and then I actually got up a bit earlier so that I could shower and just get ready um, even though I've put my pajamas back on um, just get ready before Jed gets up so that he didn't have to do battle with having a shower with with Jed in the bathroom he's just started stirring now he's up um, half an hour earlier than usual which I'm not too surprised about because we just switched over from daylight savings on yesterday actually so he's probably still um not caught up from that i had a bit of a restless night's sleep last night and i have been up probably since like awake since 4 30 so as you can tell by my eyes they're gonna go upstairs and get jet up and i will check in later okay bye good morning jetty yeah hi no, you're going to go into my room? Uh, I found this little cactus. I can let some light in. It was just in a plastic, one of those plastic brown pots, but I painted it blue with acrylic paint, and I think that looks really cute. Don't you, Jetty? No. Yeah. We're going to go downstairs and play and have breakfast and uh, what is the time? It's probably only um, 6.30 or something. I've just messaged Lindsay to see if he could do a FaceTime because when I got Jed up, he was definitely looking around for Lindsay. Um, but he seems to be running a little bit late because he's still on the um, transport bus from the parking lot to the airport and now he's running late it seems anyway no facetime this morning i don't think anyway um this morning looks so far so good everything's fine um i will say though like i it's only quarter past seven bed's not going to be till 9 30 or so i already so appreciate having Lindsay here in the morning and i'm really lucky because i know some people like for me when i used to work in the city i used to have to leave home at 6 30 to get to my job um so i think i did anyway um but yeah i'm so grateful that Lindsay doesn't have to leave till eight every day because pretty much from 6 30 till 8 every day he's around and it's such a big help i just feel like the morning time drags a little bit with playing and everything anyway it's all good i'm just very grateful i bought this christmas sorry this easter garland I've never decorated for Easter before, but it must be having children is making me want to, um, making me want to decorate and get all festive. So far, so good. It's going to be way too short and I'm going to need to buy another one. It's only going to cover half the stairs. Lindsay's going to get home from his trip and be like, WTF. But boys don't really understand decorating. Most boys don't really understand. Not to be sexist, but... I need to play around with the direction of the twiggies and 
I need to get a second one obviously because it ends halfway up the stairs but apart from that I'm really pleased with it I think it looks cute so the time is quarter to 12 and Jetty's just ready for his little swimming lesson how cute are his little pants they are the extra thick pants that they make them wear over the top of their swim nappies just to be sure you ready for swimming lessons yeah good boy it is tw uh, one o'clock we've just got home from swimming and i'm making jed's lunch and my lunch <laughs> funnily enough it's a really hot day today um really hot for this time of year it's 31 degrees celsius um so i probably make use of the weather and I'll probably play with him in the splash mat of the sand pit in the yard later because there's not going to be too many days where we can use the splash mat this year. Hi, Fossum. Hello. Hello, Bubble. Would you like strawberries or grapes? Both? Okay. You hungry after swimming? Yeah. Enjoy, darling. Good boy. Good boy. <sighs> My heart. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. It is after four. It's about 4.30. And, oh, you took your hat off. I guess it's okay. It's pretty shady. But if the sun comes out, you have to put it on again. It's, um, we're making the use, making use of the hot day, playing in the sand pit, but there's a few little mosquitoes about. So just putting on some insect repellent. Go. This is just the, what have I got here? Kids, red, repellent but I'm gonna put some on too. There we go. Yay! Let me put the lid on. Ooh succulent paddle leaf flapjack something. Hmm dead. Daddy, wave to Daddy. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye. I love you. Okay, so it is eight eight thirty, and Jed is asleep. Um, he hasn't stirred at all yet. He had a really good dinner, so I'm hoping that he sleeps well tonight. Usually, when he has a really good dinner, he does tend to sleep well. So anyway, I have moved my computer inside and there's no way i'm gonna sit in the garage <laughs> no way um so yeah i just thought i would do a little bit of work tonight i've got some labels to make for some customers i am researching my plant care like a little nerd i have my notes here and the tiny little wine got to stay responsible since I'm the only adult here but it's just a little one um, and yeah I might edit another vlog that I made so that's um, that's it for today today went really well I think one day down two to go tomorrow um, 
don't have any plans at all really. The friend I was going to catch up with is actually busy so we'll figure out something. <laughs> morning everyone today is Tuesday and Jed and I are just going for a walk to the shops I just saw our friendly local courier he probably thinks I'm an up job Hi Teddy! Yes, making a mess with his milk bottle. If that's okay. I have actually just, as I said this morning, I went to get um, a parcel from the post office and it's this new drink bottle that I'm going to try for him that was recommended to me from a friend. Okay, this is it here. It's the Camelback uh, Spill Proof. I use that term lightly because I've been through so many Spill Proof bottles lately. Um, what I need this to do is be clean uh, for the straw to be cleanable because it's really for his milk. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. Maybe I'll transfer the milk that he's spilling everywhere now over to this and we'll, we'll see how that goes oh my goodness like look at this mess of milk all over the floor so this is a daily Ugh. anyway like i was telling you before i was planning on taking jed to this lovely i'm just watering my piece lily Apparently, peace lilies like filtered water. Oh, sorry, darling. Um, I'm not going to give it like Mount Franklin or anything, but I um, gave it some of our cooled boiled water from the fridge. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I was going to take Jed to this lovely park. We were going to play on the sand, have a picnic, and then play in the swings. But... The weather has taken a turn and I don't know whether we're going to risk it. So if you look outside, yeah, it's looking, I don't know if you can see that. So I just tested the drink bottle myself. It's one of those ones where you kind of have to bite down on it a little bit to suck it out. So it might take him a few goes to get what he's meant to do. I'm a little concerned though what's happening with the other bottle is he's getting it out okay and it is spill proof but he gets it in his mouth and then he just dribbles it out so no amount of spill proof cup is going to help with that but I'm crossing my fingers and we'll see how we go. Jed's hair has just exploded like in the last few days it's so long. <laughs> Look at your long, long hair. We might have to get a haircut soon. It's just so long. Beautiful. I'm going to try your bottle. Can I drink from it? <laughs> you got some. Good work. Oh, good. This is really positive. Refreshing. <laughs> so the weather's still a bit foul, but I've decided we're going to go to just a, a close by park, but one I haven't been to before. It's just like maybe a 10 minute drive away. <laughs>
six o'clock. I'm just finishing off my dinner. Jed's dinner's cooked. It's just cooling over there. Uh, Jetty is cooking something up down there. It's okay, darling. Dinner will be ready soon. So yeah, um, Bachelor in Paradise starts tonight. I'm very excited. I love my Bachelor, even though it's um, so trashy, the Paradise one. I cannot wait. So I've got a tiny little bit of wine left. I'm gonna have a glass of that and just relax. No work tonight. Night night. Seasonably hot summer days. We're back to be in our cozies. I've got my brand new slippies on, and I just can't get enough of how cute Jed looks when he's all bundled up in his warm stuff. Don't you, Jeddy? No. Good morning. Good morning. No. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice day outside. Baby. Baby. Did you get a balloon at the shops? <gasps> wow. You're lucky boy. Yes. Somebody fell asleep in the car for two minutes, didn't they? That's okay. We'll just stay up for just a little while. I'll we'll see a yawn and then we'll go have a sleep. Yeah? <laughs> Can you walk to mummy with your balloon? You want to walk? I'll hold it. I'll hold it for you. No, no chance. No chance. Okay. I think he's so close to walking by himself, but he's still just a little bit hesitant. Um, we just got back from the appointment that I had. It was near a Westfield, so as I suspected, they were running 45 minutes late. So we turned up, then we went, I fed Jed some lunch. I haven't had any lunch myself yet. Um, it's just after two and then I did a little bit of shopping for my um, business. I just needed to get a few novelties and things for some bags. But I also got a um, birthday present for my niece who just turned, sweetheart, I love your balloon. Uh, my niece just turned 10 um, and she's such a sweet and lovely girl. The light's just popping in and out, sorry. Um, she is mature, but she also loves things like little fluffy uh, stuffed toys and things like that. So um, I got her a little bit of a, a mix, I think, of um, sort of things that are, yeah, you know, because 10 is that age where you kind of, oh, right lights there, you're kind of growing up a bit or you're growing up. It's that sort of special, it's a special age. Anyway, let me just stop rambling and show you what I got her. From Lush, um, I got her, so this is kind of the grown up part of her present. I got her, I can't even show you because it's wrapped up, but it's wrapped up in this really cute little parcel. You pick out a few things and they wrap them in these lovely Japanese scarves and then you can use them after for all sorts of things like head scarf or um, I don't know just to hold stuff in and we've got a little diagram there Lindsay actually gave me one with some lush things in it and I use it on my bedside table as a bit of a cover thing anyway so that's kind of the grown-up part of it I've got some 
uh, soap and a glitter lip gloss and um, what else? This stuff called Fun, which is this soap that this sort of moldable soap for the shower. Um, for her sort of fun, still little girlish side, I got her this. Uh, this is just a mini pinatas pack. I know she loves. I know she likes pinatas from parties and stuff. So these is like a kit to make your own mini pinatas. I just thought that that was something that she might find enjoyable to do, hopefully. And then I got her this from Bunnings, actually. It's a little, what do you call it? Um, it's a v Volkswagen van and it's a flower pot. So it comes with, it's a little, comes with a little bus and it comes with a um, seed pellet and you, yeah, you grow the flowers out of there, which I thought was just really, really cute and something that she will enjoy. Right now, I'm just going to play with Jed, may, uh, maybe wear him out a little bit more, pop him down for a nap. Um, I don't think there's going to be too much more for me to vlog about. As I've said before, Lindsay's going to be home tonight probably probably 7 38 ish uh so he won't see jed until the morning yes we'll say bye now and thank you for watching and um if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when i upload a new video and oh here's my little mate to say bye there you are uh, we'll talk to you